Now, I'm not looking to make this video too long, but just so you know, and yes, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to your mother in the background or your husband, your wife, whatever it is. I'm talking to you right now. We're streaming right now on Twitch at Blade Miss. You can go ahead and check me out. Same username as the YouTube channel. Make sure you go ahead and check it out. We're streaming most likely until 12 p.m. Eastern. But these are some mistakes I do not want you all to make in order to go ahead and maximize the amount of stubs you can go ahead and maximize on through investments. All I ask in return is for you to hit that like button button on this video let's aim for 125 likes let's hit it we haven't hit it in a minute and let's also subscribe if we're new here let's get 20k this month before it ends please do me that solid just do me that solid so my big piece of advice and the mistake i don't want you all to do is go ahead and not invest into these fifth inning diamonds and the reason why i say i don't want you all not investing in these diamonds is because once they leave the fifth inning program they are never coming back do you hear me correctly they are never coming back until like the 11th inning program but that's when the game is dead nobody cares about the game anymore so for the next big collection whatever these prices are currently they're going to at least double because a lot more people people are going to be looking for cards to buy and since these were only limited to the fifth inning program these cards are going to skyrocket since the supply is going to basically be scarce inside the markets since a lot of people are going to be locking them in and then those that went ahead and invested in them are going to have the abundance and are going to be looking to sell and the same thing is going to go for this fifth inning classic pack make sure you guys go ahead and invest in these three players as well do not make the mistake of going ahead and selling whatever player you got right now get yourself at least five to ten of them just like those monthly awards cards jumped up in price these cards are going to jump up in price as well now when it comes to these fifth inning bosses as i said in a previous video you don't want to go ahead and buy all three unless you know for sure you're going to be one of the first ones to complete that six inning program and get the 50 xp bonus in order to help you be one of the first ones if you're not if you're not going to play the game from sunrise to sundown i just do not see the purpose behind it and then last but not least i also also want to talk about these battle royale rewards these battle royale rewards from the battle royale program and i'm talking about all these silvers here as the program progresses and we're getting towards their final days their prices will skyrocket back up and the same thing goes for the golds same thing is going to go for most of the diamonds as well in the later tiers so you might want to go ahead and invest in a couple of each tier silver gold and diamond in order to go ahead and maximize your profit whenever there are two to three days left in the battle royale program but if you wait until the new battle royale program you're going to be screwed because in the new battle royale program since they allow you to get these cards all over again a lot of people just go ahead and sell it instantly in the community market and i believe that we might get another big collection very soon or some sort of collection in the future that's going to go ahead and allow you to maximize your profits so that's a quick little video just helping you all out there do not make the mistakes of not investing in these cards in order to make a ton of stubs have a blessed one stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all on the next one peace out